in this video we will try to find out uh, new or repeat locations so we want to uh, find out if there are any repeated uh, requests coming from a same location go to street address column and uh, probably randomly pick uh, say uh, let me just pick one airport road click ok uh, we can see uh, right away we see that there are 14 requests from this location over the years and uh, the first request came in february 2017 and subsequent requests right so what we want to do is we want to create a calculated column so that the first uh, row here should be new and the sub subsequent should be repeat right that is a logic so that means we need to look at the address and uh, we also need to look at the date so uh, when we build a, a calculated column we need to use this particular logic it could be like you know new customers new products it could be used any in any kind of data set so let me just name that as the column name should be new repeat equal to so uh, let me try to uh, kind of use filter uh, function and uh, filter function um, we will try to wrap uh, the main table around all uh, function so that we want to remove all the filters on this uh, table and the logic is uh, we know that the street address right so let us use that column street address column equal to and we will use earlier function and um, earlier uh, we'll type earlier and so we say that hey if a street address equal to earlier street address and we also add another condition uh, the filter expression uh, for the filter expression we'll add say two um, double ampersand and we already have a date column here right we will straight away we will use that column so uh, that is exactly what we have seen in the table view so we will use the earlier function again here and we'll pass the date column here directly the date column so this will be the table right this is how the table should look for us um, uh, to uh, as a starting point right and the next is that obviously we cannot pass this right filter will give you a table so we are trying to create a calculated column so we will get an error so what we could do is logically if we think about it uh, we will try to add count rows if it is greater than zero then it has to be repeat otherwise it has to be new right so all we have to do is wrap everything around if uh, uh, statement so we will try to type uh, if so if this particular um, the count rows is greater than zero then uh, we will type uh, that as repeat else it should be new thanks for watching and see you in the next video